Hey guys, I just got my Creality CR10 3D printer and I'm really excited to make a video about it. So I'll cover a few things about the printer in this video, but then I'll also do a sample print of a bullet that you can see here. So stick around if you want to see what this printer can do. I've already made two videos with this printer. One was a live stream of an unboxing and one was a live stream of printing a fidget spinner, which turned out really successfully. I'll put those links in the description for you guys if you're interested in watching. Now there are lots of reviews and things on YouTube about this printer, so I don't really want to make this video into a review, but I want to show you the product, I want to show you what it looks like, hopefully answer some of your questions, just to supply some more information and maybe get some information out about 3D printing itself. I had this printer sent to me by Gearbest. The printer is currently valued at about 530 Australian dollars, which converts to about 400 US dollars. Now if this printer isn't the best printer under $500, it is one of the top contenders for that title. It comes about 90% assembled. It comes with a roll of PLA. The printer also comes with all the tools you need to assemble it. Extra tools, spare parts, instructions, a USB and an SD card. You can also download free software to use with it. For example, Cura, the 3D slicing software and Fusion 360 for CAD modeling if you're a hobbyist or a student. As you just saw, you can print from a standard micro SD card or straight from your computer. Other nice features about this machine are the LCD screen and keypad for easy offline use, a huge build volume, that's 300 millimeters by 300 by 400, which is absolutely huge. It also supports lots of different uh, filaments, such as ABS, PLA, TPU, and many more. I've ordered PETG for myself as well. It weighs a lot too, and it's an absolute tank, pretty much an all metal assembly. The only real criticism that I have about it is the cable management of it. The cables are a bit everywhere, even though the cables themselves are quite easy to attach to the machine. You've got your X, your Z, and your Y. They're easily marked, and there are some good instructions on that USB that comes with it. Lots of my future content will be based around prints from this 3D printer. So if you're interested in 3D printing, or if you want to learn more about the Creality 3 uh, CR10, feel free to subscribe. This was also a nice little moment I caught on tape. To turn the thing on, Behind the power supply unit slash control box, there's a little switch that you flick on and it welcomes you with the Creality 3D logo followed by this LCD screen. It's quite an intuitive interface. To select something, you click the button and to change the selection, you turn the wheel. Lots of the settings in here you don't really have to use at all. I, just, I can go straight into printing, which is really cool, uh, typically straight from my SD card. But you can also adjust the temperature if you want to of the hot end or the temperature of the bed. As you can see here, I can look at all the different types of G codes on my SD card and I can print whatever I like. There's not really any learning curve at all, which is really nice, so it's great for beginners. Having said that, let's get straight into our sample print. So this is a design I did myself on Fusion 360. I imported it into Cura sliced it and then saved it straight to my SD card and then inserted the SD card into the printer, pressed print and then waited for the bed to heat up and then commenced printing. There's really not much to it. As I said before guys, I'll be making more content on these 3D printers so hit subscribe if you're interested and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. 